Here I'm going to show you the wiring of the Intermatic uh, T101R timer. Most of these timers are the same. The only difference with this one is that it's in a weatherproof type of enclosure, which just means it has a seal on here so it won't keep moisture out, um, providing you attach the wires with proper glands and whatnot. But anyway, the little diagram here may be a little bit difficult to figure out if um, you're not familiar with uh, electronics and electronics wirings diagram. But you can see here that uh, this represents the supply line coming from the breaker. In this case, that's going to be the red wire over here. This wire here is representing the cable to the load with uh, two conductors and a ground. So we'll remove the, uh, the insulator here. I'll show you how I wired it up. All the ground points are connected to the grounding lug over there. The red wire is coming from my breaker. Two conductor wire. Red we're using as neutral, and black we're using as the, uh, as the line, which is the 110 power feed from the breaker itself. So in this case, all the neutrals go to the A terminal, which is the first terminal here. So my neutral coming from the breaker, which is the red wire, and my neutral going to the load, which is my pool pump. Second terminal over here, which is the number one terminal, it's indicated on the diagram, is going to be the line from the breaker. So we can see this uh, bracket here represents the wire. Then we have the neutral to A, line to 1, and then to 2. That's my line to my load. The ground is at the bottom here, it goes to the grounding lug. And the neutrals again are shared at the A terminal. So basically the switching happens in between these two contacts over here. Take this off and you look at the back, you'll see the switch. You can manually override it. On off. I have it set to do uh, two on off cycles through the day, so when I put the chlorine at night, it's going to run through the night, it's going to turn off in the morning, come on uh, back again for a little while in the afternoon, circulate the water, and then go off until the evening uh, until I add more chlorine. Generally, uh, it's best to have it circulating at night when you put the chlorine in. You don't want to chlorinate during the day because the Ultraviolet rays from the sun will break down the chlorine and uh, render it not totally ineffective, but less effective. So that's why it's always a good idea to run your chlorinator to add chlorine at night. And in this case, that's why I have the pump running at, uh, at a higher or at a longer time during the night. Anyways, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know.